Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and today I have a relaxing cook, clean, and pamper video because we're always cooking and cleaning but I wanted to remind you to give yourself some pampering too because you deserve it. I hope you find this video super motivating yet relaxing. So let's do this in order. We're going to cook first and then we're going to clean and then pamper. So I am making two separate things tonight. I am making a chicken noodle soup as well as a creamy dill chicken with potatoes and green beans. I'm going to be making both of these simultaneously as well as making some really delicious chocolate chip muffins for dessert. As you can see here, the first thing I'm doing is just washing off all of our produce. I'd also like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit where you can get easy seasonal recipes, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door, and all you have to do is cook and enjoy them, which I love because sometimes I do just get into like a cooking rut where I don't know what to make and HelloFresh just gives me great new ideas and lets me try new things. HelloFresh provides step-by-step -step recipes, pre-measured ingredients, and you have everything you need to get a delicious meal on the table in just about 30 minutes. One of the awesome things about HelloFresh is that they have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know that you'll get something delicious. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences. You can even skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh is simple, delicious, and flexible, and they are now from $5.66 per serving. You can get started with HelloFresh as well with eight free meals. That's $80 off of your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter the promo code BEASTONS80. I'll have everything on screen as well as links below. So for my chicken noodle soup, I'm using one yellow onion, four stalks of celery, and four peeled and chopped carrots. I love using my Dutch oven for everything. You can see it's burned on the bottom and if you know how to get that burn out of the bottom, please comment below because I would love to get this off. I've tried a lot of things and nothing has worked so far. So I'm just heating up some olive oil and then tossing in my onion and sauteing them until they're translucent and then we're going to add our carrots. Next, we'll just go ahead and add our celery. Give that a nice little stir. Now I'm just adding three cloves of garlic from my garlic press. And for an even faster chicken noodle soup, I'm just using a rotisserie chicken. The seasonings I'm using today are just some sea salt, black pepper, and thyme. Next, I'm just adding two boxes of this chicken broth and I'm gonna let that simmer until I'm done with our other meal. Oh. 
While that's simmering, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our creamy dill chicken. I've already washed all the produce and now I'm going to preheat our oven for 450 and I'm going to be using this for both our potatoes and our green beans. For our potatoes and our green beans, I'm just going to be putting them on a baking sheet with some olive oil, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to put the potatoes in the oven and let them cook for about 10 minutes before I go ahead and add the green beans. Next, I just wash and dry two chicken breasts and now I'm doing some salt and some pepper and I'm gonna throw them in a skillet with a little bit of olive oil and let them cook for about four minutes on each side. Now I'm just going to take the chicken out, let that rest, and then start making this pan sauce, which is one of my favorite things about HelloFresh because I don't really know how to make like that many pan sauces, and that's what really makes me love my meals. It's like a good sauce on my chicken. So to this, I just did some sour cream, some chicken stock, and then I'm putting a little bit of mustard in here as well. While that's simmering, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in my green beans now that my potatoes have been in the oven for 10 minutes. And I'm going to cook them for about another 10 to 15 minutes. And while all that's going, I'm just cutting up some dill to add to our sauce. Now that everything's just kind of simmering and doing its thing, I'm going to make some chocolate chip muffins. These muffins are delicious. This is just a bag of a pre-made gluten-free muffin mix and I was excited because I found some Halloween cupcake liners from last year. literally the perfect timing our green beans and our potatoes are done so I'm going to take those out and then I'm just adding some chickpea rotini to this um, chicken noodle soup it's gluten free and the kids love it and just adds like a little bit of extra protein you can also see I'm heating up the chicken again in a little pan just because it got cold and now that all that is cooking I'm gonna let those noodles cook and I'm gonna put my muffins in And finally, it's time to enjoy our meals.
I don't know about you guys, but I use a cupcake tin as my muffin tin and I think it's time to invest in a different muffin tin. Do you have multiple tins or do you just do cupcakes and muffins in the same ones? I think that these needed a muffin thing, but although they may not be beautiful, they tasted absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go eat another one right now. Dinner was absolutely delicious. We had tons of soup left over, so we had that for lunches the following day. It's also just like a good staple during this season with like all of the illnesses and everything like that. But I had to show you Ella. She was cracking me up with how much she liked the soup and just being so silly. Chris and I absolutely loved our dinner. It was so delicious. Thank you again, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. And clearly the muffins were a hit too. It's a little bit later and the kids are asleep and now it's time to finally clean up all of this mess. Now that all the giant crumbs are off, I'm just using the Jaws disinfectant spray to wipe everything down. I had to take care of that table before I can move on to anything else. So before I put all the food away, I'm just going to save myself a muffin and the rest of the muffins I'm going to put away. You may know this about me already, but I'm not a big fan of leftovers at all, except for soup. I love leftover soup and I also love cold pizza. Before we start cleaning everything else, let's just make it smell really good in here. I'm going to use a few drops of lavender essential oil and that's going to help it smell good but I also need it to light my favorite candle right now which is just a pumpkin candle that I got from Target this season. It smells amazing. It's light and refreshing. One of the not so great things about multitasking cooking is the dishes afterwards, so let's tackle that. The first thing I'm doing is just loading up the dishwasher as much as possible, and then I'll be hand washing everything else.
I never thought I'd see this day, but the dishes are finally done and now I'm just going to give our sink a good scrub because it needed it. Next, we're just going to finish wiping everything down in the kitchen, and I'm also going to be using my little razor to get the stuck on crud. Next, it's time to take both the regular trash out as well as the recycling. Now that the garbages are empty, I'm just using some spearmint essential oils to make them smell better. Now we are moving on to vacuuming and that will be our last step of cleaning in this video. Now moving on to the fun stuff, which is the pamper night.
now we have to talk about something. The goal of my channel, the whole reason I started was to provide some motivation for other women and other mothers. I was a newer mom when I started my channel and I just wanted to be the mom that I needed as a mother. So that is what I tried to do on my channel. And I love motivating you with cooking and cleaning, but I also really want to show you and tell you how important it is to take care of yourself because you cannot pour from an empty cup and even just having a little pamper night like this really just like helps recharge you and just it feels good to care about yourself so just please hear me out and please try it I'm just making some decaf chai tea I use the latte portion of my Keurig to steam up some milk and I'm going to add that to it along with a little bit of cinnamon sugar on top When I was done my little pamper routine, not only did I feel so much better, so much more relaxed for bed, but I also, while I was cleaning and cooking, just kept thinking about when I was done this, I was going to take a minute to myself and really indulge and that helped me get through the cooking and the cleaning just knowing that there was like a prize at the end of it all. So even if it's some yummy tea and a muffin in the bath, I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Moving on to the bath. So I don't have a giant luxurious bath. I have my kids bath and that is what I use but a bath will do. I'm happy with it. I'm just setting up my products that I'm going to be using, my yummy snack as well as my book that I'm going to be finished reading soon. I love this book. It's been life-changing and eye-opening. I'm also going to be lighting this um, stress relief candle that also smells really, really good. It's eucalyptus and mint. Since I was very first pregnant, I became in love with bath bombs and bath salts and Epsom salts and just all of that kind of stuff because it just really helps you feel relaxed, they smell good, they make your skin soft, and they're just amazing. So now that my bath is over, I'm going to be using a face mask that I just picked up from the grocery store. Um, I really liked it. This was my first time using it, but there's just something so satisfying to me about a peel-off mask. Like, yes, I appreciate other masks, but there's nothing like a good peel-off mask that makes your pores just feel nice and fresh and clean. This one was a hydrating mask, and it really made my face feel really nice. And again, I get that satisfaction faction from like peeling things. I'm also the girl that likes to pick scabs, peel sunburn, pop pimples. So yeah, that just makes sense for me. Now I have my nighttime blend going and I'm just going to relax or read my book and snuggle with my hubby. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and please tag me when you are pampering yourself. You need to pamper yourself. You deserve it and I want to promote self-care so much to you. So I